What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be drawing heads. Heads. So everybody has a head, you know, but do you know how to draw a head? That's probably why you're watching this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the steps that I take to draw heads and show you around a little bit. Um, also, I got a new setup. I painted my walls and I'm going to be painting a mural on the wall behind me eventually, so stay tuned for that whenever that comes. And uh, yeah, let's just get into doing the thing. Alright, so I'm going to try this little picture-in-picture -picture type deal just to see if it helps you guys a little bit or if it's you know if you guys like the picture in picture better than the just standard let me know and I will continue to do it if you guys like these real-time videos let me know and hit that subscribe button and smash the bell for notifications every time I post a video well let's get started so as you can see on here I have one two three four five six seven eight circles I've already started a few of them, just to give you guys kind of an idea, so I don't go straight in, it's just me drawing. So what you do whenever you first decide to draw a face, is you draw a circle. Some people, they are not that great at drawing perfect circles, so you use a circle template. One of these things right here. And that's okay. You can also use a variety of other things like tape or a compass or a piece of string and your pencil you do that. But I went with the circle template just because it's easy and I have one available to me. So we're going to go ahead and start here. So what you do, the first step is you divide the circle into four quadrants. This line right here on a straight on shot will be curved up or down depending on how the head is faced. If the head is up like this, the line will be curved this way. If the head is down like this, the line will be curved this way. But if it's straight on, it still will be slightly curved up this way. That way, whenever you're looking at the face, it doesn't look flat. Another thing is you want to go ahead and define the sides of the face right here. So you drop those down and then you go here, drop down to the chin. Make sure the center of the chin is in the center line as well as the edges of the chin, the edges of the chin in the proper places. You want to make sure those are lined up. So next you go here and then you go this line will always be halfway through the circle. This line for the nose will be halfway between this line and the chin. And this line for the mouth will be halfway between this line and the chin. That being said you go ahead and do this, drop those down, drop that down, that's, that's not far down enough. So there's that, and now, you might be asking yourself, Brandon, why did you not draw the center line and the eye line? I know where those lines are supposed to be. See what I mean about lining up the chin pieces? You want to make sure those are lined up. So now that those are lined up, draw this line slightly curved right there where that line starts. That's going to be the top of your ear. This will be the bridge of your eyebrows right here where it 
that sticks out. There you go. Slightly erase it here. Then we'll go through and put some cleaner pencils down. Bam. And now that we have all the marks for our eyes, nose, and mouth, we want to go through here on the center line. We want to go the same distance out this way, right here. Same distance out this way, right here. That's where your eyes are going to start. It's right here where the line is. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Now this is my sort of comic style. You don't have to draw it this way. Uh, if you're doing more realism, you can definitely go through and do your eyes how you want to do your eyes and how you want to do your nose and how you want to do your mouth. We'll get into those later. Now this nose is straight on. So from this corner right here to the edge of the nose, this corner right here, also the edge of the nose. Nostril, dip, nostril, this little part here, whatever it's called, where you, where you get your septum for your staff. And then lips, nose is too far down so not only am I showing you how to do it I'm showing you how to fix mistakes and how to notice them before it's too late So let's go through and do a couple more. So this one, up until now, I've been doing straight shots at the face. Straight on shot like you see right now. But you can also use this same method to do profile shots and three quarter shots. So this right here, Take it. This right here is where your eyes are going to be. Across. And your line for the center will be right there this time. This should go up a little bit more. So, now that you have that, right about down here and shape in the chin and then shape in the nose and then shape in the lips Now the nose isn't going to be completely triangular. And the 
eyes are not going to be how they looked. Either. There you go. Bam. Now you have profile. Go uh like that. And then right here is where your ear is gonna be. And right here is where your ears are gonna be. So now that we've got this far, two more. So this one will be three quarter. So what you want to do is you want to define the plane to the face right here. This is called the Loomis method. Then go through. the other shapes. This line will be going this way. The nose will be going like this. And the mouth will be going like this. There you go. And then all you have to do after that is add hair. So we'll go here, do a straight on shot. Eyes. Now, this person's head is tilted a little bit. So you want to make sure it's tilted in relation to that. And, and try to get it uh, a little bit expressive if you can. You don't want a uh, just a static. You don't want like a static, lifeless head. And if you ever get to a point like this where the face is good but the head is not, just adjust your angle a little bit of the center line. Drag the chin out. And then come back up this way. And there you go. Now you have a head. Then you add hair. Typically, hair is about uh, halfway between the center line for your eyes and the top of the, the uh, circle. So you have... Bam. Bam. And sometimes the hair will extend over the forehead line. So you have this sort of hairstyle right here where it's, she's got bangs, you know. And bam. Now, these are just rough sketches, and I, I haven't done a full one, but that concludes the 
drawing heads. So one of these days I am going to do a full size sketch in this sketchbook of a head and do a YouTube video for it and just show you guys a walkthrough step by step and hopefully you guys can draw along with me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications every time I post a video. As always, you can order prints here. And I'm Brandon, and I'll see you next time.